Welcome to Voice Bootcamp. Hi, my name is Faisal Khan, the CCI Voice Instructor at VoiceBootcamp.com. In this lecture, I'm going to discuss the Cisco Unity Connection, the integration requirement with Unified Communication Manager 7.0. Now, Cisco Unity Connection is a, voice, a voicemail solution for Cisco Unified Communications. It's designed to work independently, independent of any mail server that you have. In a previously, Cisco Unity was dependent on either Exchange or Lotus Node. Unity Connection, on the other hand, does not depend on in either Exchange nor, not, nor uh, Lotus Node system. You can integrate Unity Connection with Call Manager using either SIP or Skinny Protocol. Uh, when you do a SIP integration, your MWI information are handled, in, including in the SIP messages. Whereas in Skinny, you need to create additional MWI ports to communicate uh, to provide proper message indi uh, wedding indicator. So Security Connection can handle multiple cluster connected through a QSIG and it can also provide forwarding information to the call, uh, call manager properly. Now in order to connect Cisco Unity with the call manager there are two set of configuration you need to do. One is a call manager site, the other one is the Unity Connection site. So let's talk about the call manager. In call manager we need to define how many voice voicemail port we want. So for example uh, you need to define three voicemail port or ten voicemail port. So the number of simultaneous communication between the call manager and Unity connection will depend on how many voicemail port you create, which of course will depend on your license. Then you have a message wording information where you need to define two message wording port uh, MWI ports, one for on and one for off. So when call manager sends a signal, it will know which uh, uh, MWI port to use in order to send, uh, send the light uh, lamp notification to the phone. The next is a voicemail port. When you create the voicemail port wizard, you need to define a voicemail port. It's a very important because the voicemail port has to match, and it has to match according, uh, the one you configure on the Unity connection side. Now let's assume you may, let's assume you have ten voicemail port. The question is, how do you ensure that the, when the call comes to voicemail or vice versa, that it does not take up the port that is already in use? Well, you need to create some sort of hunting algorithm. So you need to uh, take that voicemail port, number of voicemail port, and you put them into a line port, uh, line group. Each voicemail port that you create have to have a specific directory number. Keep that in mind. In call manager, everything that needs to be invoked requires a directory number. So number of uh, voicemail port you create, you put them into a hunt group and hunt list and then using a hunt pilot to route the calls to the voicemail server. Now your voicemail pilot number and the hunt pilot number should be same. 